Greetings, guitarist. I hope you're doing well. Hey, this is a follow-up video to the last one I did. Um, I went on a trip to Ireland, uh, vacation with my wife and some friends, and got Rob's address and decided to pay him a, a visit. I wanted to check out his uh, factory. Um, they were great. Um, we got to meet um, his crew and his family, and uh, his mom and dad treated us to coffee and scones, and, and I want to say it was definitely the highlight of my trip. So we're starting right now. Just letting you know, I'm taking a vacation here, and I'm in Cashel, Ireland, and the reason why I'm here is vacation, but there's another reason too, in the Rob O'Reilly MIDI Pro 2. And it's a type of guitar synthesizer. So I'm excited because I get to go to his place. I don't know if I can film any or anything like that in there, but you know, let's give it a try and welcome. So that's um, uh, Maple. Oh, nice. Uh, from Canada. Um, nice. And that's what we use as standard. But we put a standard on all of our, our guitars now. It's adjustable. Mm -hmm. It's made okay. in Germany. It's a fabulous piece and yeah. it allows you to put in different string gauges. So before we were very limited to only Ernie Ball regular Slinky, but now you can do Super Slinky, which are lighter one, or you can do Power mm -hmm. Slinky. That's the plan okay. anyway. We yeah. haven't completely told people that. Um, so this one is, is just finished gluing. Um, so he's glued That's this, he's wired up all the frets. Um, you can Ebony see where the, this is an ebony fingerboard, and this is a roasted maple um, wow. at neck. Yeah, so you can see the maple. customer that it's for. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's um, he, he'll just be getting ready to put it on a jig and start sanding it. He'll thickness wow. the headstock. Mm -hmm. um, it gets they get lovely. Uh, here's one. Oh, that's, nice. uh, here's let me see. Here's one that's ready for tuners and all that. So you, oh, can, wow. you can pick that up and you can see it's a lovely chamfer that's all put on by hand. Oh, beautiful um, work. Yeah, yeah, mm. and it's just you, we get a great finish. So that's that one's wow. probably got. Uh, it's got, we, we use this amazing oil. Um, mm. It was developed by a luthier wow. in the UK, That's and it's pretty. the nicest oil that I've ever used on wood, and it's so, you know, oh, wow, yeah, it's yeah, a so, love. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah we've been working that, on this neck for years. What's the radius on this? And um, the radius is fourteen inches on 14. the front side, and uh, then wow, we just do nice. a really thin love neck, it. and yeah. it, it plays like, you know, we've done so Butter. much work on the yeah, we've done so much work on the neck. Mm -hmm. um, and everything even down to how we level the frets. So we level the frets with the string tension on. Right. So that it's the exact shape that it is going to be when you're actually playing. As opposed mm. to normally you take the strings off and you, you level. Yeah, that is so, uh, Medium jumbos? Medium jumbos. Yeah. And they're made in the US. They're um, mm. uh, Jeskar frets. And um, that yeah. amazing. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. very sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you, you're talking like you're talking. Uh, there's one with the tuners on. You know, I'm not even going to say oh. hundreds. I'm going to say thousands of micro adjustments over over you know years of how you make it, and oh, it just goodness. gets better and better. Yeah, this never is... ending. Every time you think you can't make a neck any better, you can make it a little bit better. Oh if you my goodness! Something. Beautiful, it's absolutely lovely, beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, I, like I knew you had to have some sort of sensors or something like that yeah. for the frets. For yeah, I, I, the I can and stuff maybe like that. show you a fret a fretboard in a while if Ado's working on one, so you'll see how they get kind of wired up and stuff like that. Nice. Yeah. Hey. And this is Rudy. Hi! And hey. hey. there's a brother Rob as well, but he's not here today. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so let's have a little uh, look around. So, sure. this is Terry, is making parts here. Mm -hmm. So he's making some bass parts up here at the moment. Um, oh, cool. Um, he does, um, wow. it's like a tray of parts for a, for a, well, this is bits and pieces, but normally he makes like a tray of parts for a guitar. Will be like these guys here. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, Terry, so I'm going to put up a piece of pot. Um, so, wow. first of all, we, we make the bridge. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite complex. Uh, it's very it's complex. It's yeah. got 18 sensors, three for each string. Yeah. One oh, wow. for measuring string ringing, mm -hmm. one for string bends, and then one for for what pressure on. Yeah, so, so we're, that, that takes a bit of time to, to put that together. Then we have um, uh, various parts for the guitar. This is 
this looks more like uh, the usual part of Burger Town, but the, uh -huh. uh, the pig guard. Oh, but, yeah. um, uh, there's uh, a few, more bits, mm -hmm. few more bits going on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then we have um, screw that. Uh, the joystick. Mm -hmm. um, we have the uh, XY, XY plate. Mm -hmm. uh, in like the XY pad and all of that. And then yeah, the wild. infinity mirror is behind yes, there. for the, yeah. Yeah, the screen. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then uh, the jack, the jack plate with um, yeah, the MIDI totally connection helps. at the back. Wow. So we, we do all these, Terry does these, these are all powder coated in black. So he does the powder coating in this little, uh -huh. little rig out here and puts the parts into the oven. So this is a little <laughs> gun and you hang them up and you, uh, you know, um, bake it on. And it is. So it's really tough finish. And that's on this one, this one, and this one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sheer yeah, genius. So, yeah, so that's, uh, really? the, and then Terry has all the kind of parts here. Oh, you know, yeah. we do that same system that I was showing you next. You know, next over you have your minimum stuff, so once you get that, you put your little card and order them. And a um, couple of little test modules, test modules just for testing stuff out. Oh, and that's, uh, that's uh, and the, the main board, I'll show you. That's the main board then, which. Um, <laughs> that's the, crazy. And um, the little city. That's, yeah. where, that's where the magic happens. Yeah. Well, it's you know it's a combo between everything because if you don't have a great guitar neck, yes. it doesn't really matter you know if you have a really great yeah. system, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So there, there's a couple of other modules. There's another like this little one that Terry has put together here for the finger pads that plugs on the top, and ah. then you have a string bend one plugs on here, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you have your USB, and then goes out to all the all the different things. Ah, do that. Yeah, so here's here's normally like we get ready. So we we have um, some bodies. You see these three bodies here yeah. are ready for for assembly. So ah. the finishing is done. So yeah. then um, Rudy normally puts, puts you know grabs a set of the three of the parts and puts them all puts it all together. Oh. Does a bunch of tests on it, and then Edo kind of watches out what's kind of coming through here and has the neck ready, and then it comes through here. And then there's normally Rudy's stealing Rob straight today. Rob's normally here. Rudy and Rob. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's just finishing. Yeah. So he's just. What are you doing to this one here, Rudy? This this one you just put the neck on, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give him a rundown. Give him a rundown. And I changed the piezo. Piezo. That is seven. Seven. Okay. Yeah. The, the yeah, so we, we, we yeah. plug in, we run these tests, this is like, a, you know, the board spits out these it, things. Yeah. Yeah. And if one is off, yeah. it will be marked with a, uh, a mark, and then yeah. you have to change Whoa. the setup. Yeah, mm. it's like a little wow. diagnostic software that we kind of have, yeah. that you can see if there is, that everything is according to what it should yeah. be. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm expecting a big UFO to land. You know, you guys are so advanced. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm blown away. I really am. Yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, normally, normally we do the final setups as well in this. Like mm -hmm. you see things for leveling the frets and stuff like that. And oh, yeah. Um, Sumac, yep. yeah, Sumac. Oh my yeah. God, we get so much stuff from Sumac. They make yeah. such amazing gear. They do. I love those guys and yeah, their customer service is, you know, it seems like everybody in Sumac, if you email them, everybody that works there is a luthier. So mm -hmm. if you ask them a question, oh, like you never got like some guy who's like yeah. sending you a, you know, a, a, a canned response or whatever, yeah, right. it's always... Wow. Um, so yeah. the guy who's like, oh, when I'm building a guitar, and there's always a different person, so those guys, mm. I love them, they're great. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, and come on over to this side, and you can see over here. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Um, um, so, this is um, Edo. Hi, I'm Kathy. Hey, how are things? Are you good? Yeah, so I'm just going to show them just yeah. quickly. I'm showing the different areas. So Edo does the um, does the necks here, mm -hmm. and uh, so this is our little machine. That's got the yeah, yeah. I was just showing them some from, from next door. Oh, so what are you doing to this one at the moment, uh, Edo? Say again, sir. What are you doing to this? So I'm just putting tuners on that now um, and wiring it up. Um, 
Yeah, and getting it ready to put on. Yeah, getting it ready, and that's sort of yeah. the, the, you know, once I got the trimmers on, I, it's, it's, it's no more mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get to hand it off. Yeah. Uh, so that's literally, I'm just at the final stage of this method. Like, yeah. So just before, just like yesterday, now we would have oiled this up, and then now it's ready for trimmers, and, and it would have the, this is a black headstock, so we would have prepped that and sprayed it. And then you see the, the black headstock, it has to get sprayed yeah. like multiple times and then it gets yeah. scraped around the edges to get this really clean edge. Yeah, and it, it. it's, um, it's quite a process. Yeah, it, it's a beautiful process, process, but the, what's nice is when it's finished, the contrast between the black and the natural is very sharp. And it looks oh, yeah. really it, it, it's, oh, yeah. it's great. It's one of the better looking necks, but it is, the only issue with it is that um, it's a little bit more difficult to, 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 to complete. Yeah, it's it's um, spray painting is always troublesome and you're always looking for a perfect finish. Mm -hmm. So if anything goes wrong, you got to sand it back and redo mm -hmm. it. That's yeah. the name. I'm, That's I'm the name of the game. But I've finished some some guitars. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. I, I over reliced. Uh, I got a uh, Stratocaster from Mormon mm -hmm. guitars. Yeah. And and I just over reliced. I mean, I wanted it to be like if a Strat was like. Washed up on the island, and this is what oh, it's going to yes, look yes, like. Yes, so yes. heavy so relic, relic, yeah. It, 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 relic it's kind of like basically you bash it up. Yeah, it it's just yeah. Yes. So yes. It's it's relic this now, right? I do some. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and how did it turn out? <laughs> oh, it turned out good. Um, yeah. We'll have a look over. We'll have a look over. Yeah. We'll have a look over. All right. Cool. So yeah, this is um, this is kind of a, a thing that we've worked on for quite a while. Um, you know, you have your little clip controller, it yeah. hooks up the extractor and you put your, and you, you know, you can adjust your, um, your, your thickness here so you can thickness the headstock. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have all kinds of jigs that we've made. This one here now would pop into this and you can lock on a, a, a neck so you can move it around while you're sanding it and you can mm -hmm. tilt it around. And we use this for gluing as well. So actually when we glue a fretboard, you make the whole fretboard with the frets in it. Then you get the neck together and you glue it when it's all together flat. So the end result is you've got like a laminated flat fretboard, mm. if you know what I mean, yeah. with the frets on, as opposed to conventionally to me, if you put in frets afterwards, it bends the neck and kind of gives it a you know, slightly funny shape. Mm. Whereas the necks that we make are super flat. Yes. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. Yes. So, um, uh, what else is there? Yeah, just all the bits and pieces. And um, yeah, these are all more tools, mm. bits and pieces everywhere. Uh, Lots of bits and pieces. Uh, they're the carbon fiber and the truss rods that we use. So it's really nice visual because you can see straight away if you're running low on base uh, truss rods, which we are, mm -hmm. you know, it's very visual and you can see, you know, we need to get more of those in. And these are the shadow tuners for guitar, these are the shadow tuners for bass. These are all our, our different sanders. So we use this fabulous sander for sanding necks. Um, you know, we hand sand it at the end, but we use these Merca ones. And they're super lightweight, really well balanced, and yeah, yeah you have all your grits and paper. And, mm. Yeah, yep. you gotta have good tools. Yeah, yep. that's it. Yeah. And, uh, that's the oil that we use as well for uh, finishing, which is uh, by the, so that guy in the UK. Yeah, um, it's uh, you can have a look at it there. It's it's uh, got a bunch of different stuff in it, but it's by a, a luthier in um, the UK called Crimson Guitars. It's got a great YouTube channel, um, and it's it's gold. It's gold. Yeah. I love yeah. this stuff. <laughs> yeah. anyway, it's very organized. You've got like a little. You've got a little place for everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It used to be double organized, but yeah, yeah, it's getting there bit by bit. We do little kind of meetings all the time and trying to decide um, what you know what to put where and what to change around to make a lot of improvements. Yeah, yeah. The, this improvement is a workshop extension. Yeah, badly overdue. These yeah. are two CNC machines here. Mm. As well. so Thank you. See, uh, Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good to meet you. Um, you can see this. This is a it's a jig that we use for uh, making the fretboard. Oh, yeah. So when we when we uh, get the fretboard, we we flatten the back of it on a little surface planer that we just pull up from the bench, mm -hmm. and then you stick it down so it's flat as a pancake on the back, 
and then the CNC machine levels it. It does a bit of a profile. Yeah. It does the you know the slots and stuff like that, and we put the frets on. And we do yeah. do different things, and we we have a little kit that we bring over to you know to hand sand it while it's on here, mm -hmm. and um, do all the beveling and stuff like that. And you can just buzz this off with two screws, so you can bring it away to work on it. Mm -hmm. And and then when all of that's done, you take it off and you wire it up. So you didn't get to see wow. um, you didn't get to see one being wired. Um, but, yeah, it's um, quite the process. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> oh, yeah. What does yeah. that thing over there do? Th this one here? Mm-hmm. Um, this is just a pillar drill, so this yeah. does everything. Oh. Use the pillar drill, it's always on the go. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, it's just got this in a pad for, for uh, cleaning up like metal and stuff oh, like that. Okay. But you can use it for just drilling, for, you know, you put all kinds of tools out with these little clutters on. We used to... Back in the day when I used to first make uh, fret boards or nets with mm -hmm. the, I used to wire in the system, but I'd use an existing fret board and you'd put one of these little tools in and you'd cut the slot, you could adjust the height so you'd use the table and you'd cut the slot up along mm -hmm. the uh, fret board with this little saw mm -hmm. and then afterwards you'd get a little hacksaw and you'd cut in the sides and then you'd put in all your wires, solder it ah. up, fill it all up with filler and mm -hmm. finish back over. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, I've done a million times. Oh. Anyway. So you've been making guitars for a I've long, been long time. Guitars since I'm 15. Oh, oh yeah. wow! I made my first guitar when I was 15 and nice. in school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nice. I started working on it when I was 14. Um, wow. So I've been making guitars for quite a while. And I remember yes. at the time I used to fly model planes back then. And I remember it, this guitar was from my Living Star project in school. And I was deciding at the time, oh, will I make a guitar or will I make an airplane? <laughs> wow! Yeah, and then I decided to make a guitar because I didn't have a guitar and I'd always wanted to play and I couldn't play and I didn't have one so I, I got one and then when I was in university I did um, uh, amplifiers so I built valve amplifiers and I did um, like modeling of valve amplifiers so we used like JFETs which are like um, modern, you know, valves are these like, um, like they look like a light bulb and they're like old school electronics but they sound really great for amplification mm -hmm. uh, so we were modeling those that's crazy those. so young to start doing that that's awesome yeah, that's awesome mm -hmm. that's really good <laughs> so there, there you go. it was meant to be it was meant to be yeah it was meant to be but dad was a luthier before he no way right. yeah but self-taught didn't go to the school wow. or anything like that wow. and and he was limited because he didn't do the necks at all i mean he just he made the bodies and then um yeah just a small wood shop and and so the things i learned just yeah. little I mean, you know, so much you know what a yeah. huge part about being a luthier actually is like you said you can take a kind of a medium not so great guitar yeah and you can set it up so it's great mm -hmm. yeah so it's That's a great. whole lot better than, mm. than even a much more expensive guitar you know? yes and so i'm sure your dad had a yeah yeah, he, he was good. Yeah, that, that's how I, he taught me how to set up and do intonation and those things yeah. like that. But, yeah, yeah. So I was I was like looking at, because uh, I've got a, a Japanese Stratocaster, I just, the Fender, I just yeah. bought and I'm like, and it's got tiny frets on it. I'm like, oh no, I gotta refresh this thing. Yeah. And then I was just kind of checking into, okay, maybe I can do this myself. I said, no, 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 no. You gotta have an expert look yeah, at it and fix it. Yeah. So. Well, it's nice to get a, a maybe a, if you want to do fret works and stuff like that, just get an older, or not an older guitar, but a guitar that's not so valuable to you. Right, and then right. get going Practice with that. that. Yeah, the yeah, last thing you want to do is on your main, on Yo, your main yeah, guitar. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we go and have a look at some finished guitars. <laughs> All right. Um, so we, we have, this is where we'd like, we'd love to do an extension at the moment. See these two blue ropes here. Yeah. We're hoping to do a really nice like extension on here. <laughs> I talk, chatting with the neighbors and stuff like that you see the two blue ropes uh -huh. up here so like this would all be like one one oh, thing one and then you could have your assembly over here your woodwork over here wow. give us a lot more space and um, even still it would be very small but it would be a lot bigger than it is with now one. is this your home too yeah that's my mom and dad's home yeah so it's, uh, you can see my dad's um no more tractor guys <laughs> 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 Just a bunch of guitars down here. Uh -huh. um, so normally when the guitars are finished, we bring them in here and they hang out in here mm -hmm. until um, the 
I can show you this from inside. I thought I'd be able to open up this window, but I can't. Um, you can Didn't see. You film something in here? Too? Yeah, yeah. I filmed I little videos that. in yeah. here because this is my little little thing. We got. I have a little couch here. <laughs> I used to have a restaurant, and this couch came from the restaurant. I love it. I love it. Um, and uh, so they hang out in there for maybe uh, you know a couple of weeks, and then we they get the final setup after. So let's say when someone is ready to get their guitar and they, yeah. you know, the, everything is set, then we do the final, you know, uh, leveling the frets, final inspection, yeah. check it, double check everything. So this is a uh, staging area. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. So, um, yeah. That's so cool. Um, I'll bring you in to see those properly and then we'll, we'll grab a quick cup of coffee then. That sounds so, great. Come on in and you can leave my mom and dad. He may or may not be here. Uh, yeah, Rudy. Yeah. Rudy was in his spot, yeah. yeah. But he he does the final inspections now, mm -hmm. and so it's a big massive checklist. And then I test everyone, so I bring him. I just play the guitar for an hour or whatever in here. It's great. Mm, yes, yes. Great job. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, and I just check everything. This is a new foot. foot yeah, it's, it's a it's, foot pedal. This is a just a standard foot pedal it's a midi yeah. midi input but our guitar accepts midi input ah, which right. doesn't nope. say in the user manual too much um but we we make this new little mini interface box which is this one and that allows you to have bi-directional from mm. the from the uh five pin because the five pin oh, normally gotcha. you have to have two separate ones one for midi in and one for midi out oh. we only have one so you you mm. get your midi out but if you want to get your midi in to change the presets you have to use a little little this little splitter oh okay uh, and then you press this and it just selects your presets which is great and y have you seen the editor do you use a mac at all uh well no i don't use a mac okay no. okay um yeah yeah um, you can you can change all your presets in the in the menu anyway yeah i've yeah. got well the midi in i was planning to use the uh raw you know i'm a gr55 okay that old technology yeah. right um so yeah, I was thinking I could use that because it's kind of like almost a thousand sounds or something like that. Yeah, you yeah. could. There's so many synths you can mm -hmm. use. I mean, you can pick them up on eBay for like fifty quid or whatever. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I I love this little Roland JB Ten Ten, which is um you know um it's yeah. got lovely piano sounds and stuff like that. I use this microcorp, which is awesome. Um, you can control MIDI on. Sorry, these are effects controllers. Mm -hmm. This one and this one, but you can control them using control MIDI. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can control effects or you can control a synthesizer, obviously. Wow. So it's great to control effects as well. Oh, yeah. And um, this is a chaos pad I use yeah, as well. I want to get a couple of water synthesizers as well, just to have it. Yeah. yeah. So this with is Steve, this is Steve Vai, isn't it? Is it really? You're yeah. the one for Steve, huh? Well, um, Thomas is his guitar tech, and uh -huh. he's awesome. And he sent over this because he he has one in order. Uh -huh. And it's uh, it's um, he he just wanted to send it because he didn't actually get to try the guitar. He was like, "Can you make the neck a little bit like that?" I was like, "Thomas, it's already like that." Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so this has been hanging around in our studio for ages. It's great. Oh, yeah. It's well worn. The frets are well. Yeah. Down. So, yeah, yeah, that's it's about as thin as your necks, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah something similar. Nice. Wow, that's sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So um, there we go. This, um, um, yeah, so that's a little little tour of the studio. There we go. The, like you can you can play, but I mean this like I said this is my one, uh -huh. but it's not. It doesn't feel as nice. You can see oh, it's a much yeah. different. It's much different neck. But yeah, I just use it for testing good. electronics. Yeah, and are they stuff still? Like uh, they all weigh about this weight. Or something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But again, like this is this is a completely different neck than it is now. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. I could like, tell. see, the nut is different. Yeah, it's got all these wires. It's different thickness. The shape is different. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the fingerboard's <laughs> thicker. Yeah, it looks the same if you yeah. take a photo of it, but it actually feels completely different. That's amazing. Yeah, I'd love to have had it set up so that you could actually try it out. Um, but unfortunately, like a guy came to collect his guitar a couple of weeks back. We normally don't do that, but right. a French guy came and he got to play his guitar here. But. Oh, nice. This is that for you today, unfortunately. Oh. Sorry. No. Um, so, yeah. Well, look, let's grab some coffee, guys. And Good old Chris Balkan. Oh, this is really... What a view. What oh, a gorgeous gosh. view. Yeah, this is so beautiful.
can't see it now because of the blue cloud. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a current tool. Yeah. 